Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to learn how to lock our markups. In Bluebeam Review, we're able to basically take any markups that we create, and we can see that after we create them, they're basically selectable, we can move them around, and we do know that we can flatten them. We can right-click on top of a markup, and the flatten option is typically available. Of course, it's not available in places like Studio Sessions or after you digitally sign a document. But there's another option that's right below flatten, and it's called lock. This is actually a bit more convenient because locking is much more temporary than flattening. While you can go to the flatten dialog, for example, which you can access through one of your shortcuts, or you can go to the document dropdown and click on flatten here, you do have an option that allows for markup recovery or unflattening. And this is very similar to locking, but I think that the process for actually flattening markups can be a bit more tedious, although the flatten dialog makes this a lot faster. But there is a purpose for locking. And so how do we lock our markups? Like you saw, if you click on any markup and right click on top of it, the lock option is right here. When you do this, the grips of the markup are grayed out. That's how you know that a markup is locked essentially visually. And so then you can also go to properties and see that you're not able to really change any of the data associated with the markup. So the markup is basically stuck and set in stone. What is nice about this though, is this is reversible. So now I can unlock the markup. So if I right click on top of it, the lock will uh, option will have a check next to it right here on the left side. And so I can just undo that and there we go. And so now the markup is movable once again, the grips have colors associated with them. So now this markup is back in action. So what is locking really used for? Well, sometimes people are working on documents and they want to make a lot of markups, especially that are close to each other, and they don't want to accidentally move certain markups when they're creating other markups. So what do a lot of people do? They can basically do control A, which I believe will select every single markup known to mankind. Does it do it only on one page? Let's check the second page and see. Uh, there actually are no markups in the second one. The third one does have some markups here. Uh, this is a floating one and this is a flattened one right here. So it seems like control A seems to only work per page. Let me confirm that actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open the markups list. We're actually going to go to page three, control A. Let's see which markup gets highlighted. No, nope, looks like this one doesn't want to highlight for some reason. Let's try again, control A. There we go, much better. So yes, it only selects all the markups per page. You can see that the text box was selected, but all the other markups are on the first page and a few of my other pages in my six page PDF set, they're basically not being selected. But if you wanna do it per page, it's not a bad idea. You can essentially go back to whichever page has the markups you're trying to lock, do control A to select them all, wait for it to load. Looks like we have to click on the screen first in order to activate it and then do control A. And now we can lock them. And if we look at the, if we right click on top of a markup, the lock uh, function actually has a keyboard shortcut associated with it, which is control shift and then L. And so if I do control shift L, every single markup now has gray grips and they cannot be modified. And this is great because now you can't move them. For example, you can see I can't drag this markup anymore. And now that's a great way to keep your markups safe and secure while you're doing some more work. And whenever you're ready, you can just do control A one more time, control shift L once again. And now let's just make sure and see if that worked. It looks like I may have accidentally um, undid one of my keys. So let me try that one more time. Control A, then control shift L. There we go. Now all the grips are back to being colored and everything is unlocked. And that's essentially how locking works. It's very simple. It's a nice temporary way of taking our markups and basically making sure that they can't be modified temporarily. And then you can always unlock them whenever you're ready. If you give somebody a PDF with locked markups, they can very easily also unlock the markups. So this is not a substitute for flattening when it comes to digitally signing documents and submitting them to municipalities, but it is quite useful and has some benefits. Thanks very much for watching our tutorial on locking markups with Bluebeam Review. Once again, my name is Ari and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.